Well, hey friends and welcome back. Today, I want to take you along with me for my meal planning and grocery shopping routine. So I want to show you exactly how I meal plan, what I'm going to be meal planning for this week, and then I'll take you along grocery shopping and show you exactly what I get. This is something I've been trying to do a lot more recently. What I've found is just by spending a bit of time planning ahead, it really can help you to stay more organized, to save money, to save time, and to eat healthier too. And so I'm really excited to share with you guys exactly what I do and how I meal plan for the week. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and let's do this. And typically I like to plan out my meals about one week in advance and I'll go grocery shopping for all of the food that we need for the week at that time. And what I find is that that's a really good balance for me of making sure that the food we have stays fresh, but also it allows me to batch some work so I'm not going to the grocery store on a daily basis. And I find that planning for about a week at a time really works well for us too, just from a planning perspective. We tend to make plans about a week in advance and not too far beyond that. So I find that if I'm trying to plan for multiple weeks at once, it often kind of limits my flexibility. So by planning for one week and one week only, it kind of helps me to get some of the benefits of meal planning without feeling like I'm losing flexibility and being able to go out to eat with friends one night or to just adjust our schedule accordingly. So that's about how far in advance that I like to plan out our meals. But then as far as what I'll actually plan for us to eat goes, I don't typically meal plan for us for breakfast or lunch because we typically eat similar things every single day. So for me, breakfast is almost always going to be some sort of smoothie and if I'm going to the gym, an energy bar. And then for lunch, I'll usually eat leftovers, maybe eggs and toast, or kind of a DIY charcuterie board where I'll just have some meat, cheese, crackers, and fruit. And then what Christopher eats for those meals is a bit different, but again, it's kind of the same foods that he eats on a weekly basis. And so when it comes to grocery shopping for those, I kind of just have an idea of what are the staples that we need to have on hand so that we can make those meals. And as we begin to run out of those items or as I'm about to go grocery shopping, I'll just add them to our list so that I can purchase them that week. So then dinner really is the main meal that I'll plan for. And I usually like to plan for about five meals a week. Typically there will be a few nights a week where we already have plans or we'll be out with friends or something like that. And so I find that five is about the average that I need to meal plan for. Sometimes it's more though and sometimes it's less. So it's something that I like to adjust for each week. I'd say this week though is pretty average in that we have five meals to plan for. But then as far as planning out what exact recipes that we're going to make throughout the week goes, we have several favorite recipes that we like to make a handful of times throughout the month or throughout the year. And I like to be able to kind of reference those and basically start my planning by picking from those staple recipes. And I like to keep all those recipes on a note in my phone and it's just a really easy thing that I can go and reference as I'm planning out my meals. Okay, what are some of our favorite recipes that I can make this week? Because otherwise I find that my mind just kind of like goes blank. I'm like, what are the meals I make? I know I make tons of different meals, but it's hard to remember them if you don't have them written down somewhere. So whether you want to put it in a notebook or like I said, I use the notes app on my phone, it can be really helpful just to have those written down somewhere so you can reference them and just use them as inspiration to make, I'd say like three to four meals a week is what I use my staple notes recipes for. So let's go ahead and sit down for a moment. I'm going to consult my list and then I'll walk you through exactly what are the recipes that I want to make. So as I'm sitting here planning for the week, I know that two of the meals I want to make are my signature salmon and roasted potatoes and my Korean beef lettuce wraps recipe. Those are two of Christopher and I's absolute favorite meals and I'd say we probably have them at least two to three times a month. So that was an easy decision and I basically just checked each of those off in my notes app so it's really easy for me to visually see what I'm planning to make that week. And then also I went ahead and wrote it down in my bullet journal and basically gave each recipe a specific day where I think it would make sense for me to make them. And then for the third meal, I really like to have an easy, low effort meal that I can make throughout the week that I can kind of slot in on a day that I know it's going to be a lot busier and I still want to make food from home. We're not going to order takeout, but I want something that's going to be lower effort on my part. And for meals like that, I really like some of Trader Joe's pre-made meal kits. They're just really quick and easy. And so for our third recipe of the week, I'm going to make Trader Joe's mandarin orange chicken, some steamed broccoli and rice to go along with that. And so that leaves us with two meals left. 
For one of those meals, what I often like to do is to basically make my own version of different meal kit recipes that we've had in the past. And that's actually one of the main reasons why I love things like Green Chef or HelloFresh is they're really great for meal discovery and often we find some of our favorite meals through them. So a few months ago, we had these amazing sausage, apple, and farro bowls from Green Chef and we both loved that recipe. So what I want to do is essentially just to make my own version of that. So that will be recipe number four and I'll slot that into Sunday. And then finally, when I have time, I really like to try out a new recipe every week, ideally using some ingredients that I already Already have on hand. And as I was looking in my fridge earlier, I noticed that I have some acorn squash that I want to use up before it goes bad. So I did a little digging, a little searching on Pinterest, and I found a really good roasted chicken and acorn squash recipe that I want to try out. And I just love being able to try out new recipes, whether that's through a meal delivery kit, searching on Pinterest, hearing about it from a friend, or anything else because I really think that it's such a great way to be able to discover new favorites. And if you often find yourself making kind of a lot of staple recipes, it's a great way just to add some easy and quick variety to your diet. But once you've got your recipes chosen, what I like to do is look through my fridge and my pantry and figure out exactly what we have and what we need. And while I'm doing that, I also like to check to see if there's any food staples that we might be running low on. And if we have any, I'd like to add those to my grocery list as well. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create a list of everything that I need to buy while I'm out, and then we can head off to the grocery store and do some shopping. All right, well, here's the completed list. It's been a little while since we went to the grocery store, so plenty to stock up on. So let's go ahead and head out and do our grocery shopping now. And then when I get back, I'll do a quick haul and show you exactly what I got. Okay, just got back from the store. Let me go ahead and walk you through exactly what I got. So starting over here, we have a dozen red roses, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But then we have all my meat over here. So we've got the Italian sausage, ground beef, chicken, and then two things of salmon because the night that we're having the salmon and roasted potatoes, we're actually going to be having friends over. So I wanted to get enough for everyone. I have some prosciutto and brie for my charcuterie. I needed some new rice, soy sauce, olive oil, and olive oil spray. Bought some coconut water for my smoothies, some grapefruits to have with my breakfast, and then some lemons, an onion, some kale, and then I got some gold potatoes, a few crackers. I wanted to try these multi-grain pita bite crackers. I'm thinking they might be a healthier alternative to those, but got both just in case. We got some eggs, some fresh rosemary, the farro that we need for the apple sausage farro bowls, some berries for parfaits and breakfasts, and then that's everything that I got at Trader Joe's, I believe, oh, and this lettuce right here. And then at Target, I just got a couple more things. I got the red cabbage, some Brussels sprouts to go with the salmon, and some garlic Parmesan breadsticks for the same reason. I got this kombucha just as a little snack. This pineapple peach one is amazing. And then finally, last thing, this vanilla honey Greek yogurt is great for smoothies. Oh, and forgot to include this because I'd already put it in the freezer because I didn't want it to get freezer burn or to defrost or anything like that. Uh, this is the mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. Also, I figured it might be helpful for me to show you guys exactly how much this all cost. I spent $102 at Trader Joe's and $16 at Target. And I'd say that this is definitely a little bit more than normal, but I did have to restock on a lot of meat and a lot of the meat that I bought will be able to use for multiple recipes and whatever I don't use this week, I can freeze and save for future weeks. So while it might be a little bit more of an expensive grocery bill this week, we can again, save it for future weeks. So it will kind of even out over the course of the month. We did still stay within our budget though, so that's the important part. And also a quick story, not meal planning related, but it was so sweet, happened at the grocery store, so I needed to share. While I was at Trader Joe's, the cashier saw me looking at these flowers, I was thinking about buying them, ultimately decided not to, 
but she was so incredibly sweet. She literally just gave them to me and I think she paid for them herself. And she just told me it was an early Valentine's Day present. It was so incredibly sweet. I cannot wait to just display these in my home. They really are incredibly beautiful. And it was just one of those random acts of kindness that was just so thoughtful and definitely encouraged me to pass on that kindness. I actually bought coffee for a friend of mine who I know has been going through a lot recently. So just a little encouragement to you. Really small things can make just a huge difference in someone's day. It made me smile just so much. It was just such a thoughtful thing. It was not something that she needed to do at all, but it just really brightened my day. So wanted to share that. Okay, now though, what I want to do is basically just to put everything away in its respective place, whether that's the fridge, the freezer, or the pantry. And while I do that, something that I've been trying to get into the habit of is to decant anything that I need to as I'm putting it away. So for example, with the rice, I have a separate container for the rice, and so I want to basically put that into the container immediately so that my pantry can stay organized. And that's just something small I've been trying to do to make sure that I don't have multiple bags or boxes of any foods open at once. So let me go ahead and do that now, and then we can wrap this up. All right, well that's really it. That's how we plan and shop for our meals. And I've really found that this is a system that works well for us. It really strikes that balance well of helping me to stay organized and to plan ahead with meals without getting overwhelmed by feeling like I need to plan out weeks and weeks in the future. Now, I'd love to know though, do you currently meal plan? And if you do, what does that look like for you? What is your meal planning routine? Or if you don't already, is that something that you're wanting to start? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. And of course, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like if you haven't already and subscribe for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. But that's everything I've got for you in today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.